everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with my June 2019 House Mouse collab with Crafty Bean. Today I used, uh, here's my project. I did watercolor painting today, and here's the original stamp, so you see what that looks like. This is called... Happy Sunflowers, it's Muzzy and Monica, circa 2006, House Mouse Designs. I bought these, I bought a bunch of these stamps. It's a stampability stamp, but I purchased them originally from Joann's. Joann's had a big sale a few years ago uh, on these particular stamps, and I bought a couple. And uh, that's the original stamp. I stamped those out. Uh, as you may know, in my um, in my notebook that I've stamped out a bunch of images uh, from House Mouse. Here it is. I was looking all over for it, and oh, sorry. Uh, so I stamped it on Brista Smooth cardstock, and it's a mixed media type of cardstock. So you could do a lot of different mediums on it: watercolor, Copics. Uh, etc. Here's the image as it stamps out. So you may notice that the lines for the smiley faces that were painted on the sunflowers don't come out onto the image. So you you don't have to do that clearly, uh, but uh, I decided to follow the image on the index of the stamp. And here's the paint that I used. I used my Prang Professional Watercolors. These are semi-moist watercolors. Um, I love this set. These are mostly primary colors, uh, so you can mix them and blend them to make uh, the various shades and tones that you might need. I also used my uh, homemade or class-made uh, Kremer uh, palette. Took a class at Kremer Pigments in New York City the right way so you can read it Kremer and um, yeah so I used these paints as well and uh, so that's the project I hope you like the way it came out I'm very happy with the result uh, the leaves were a little tough in terms of laying down the color making it deeper in some places and lighter in other places to mimic shading and shadowing and the various tones of color. That was a little bit challenging for me on the leaves, uh, but I tried. I did a few techniques, layering colors, then also I did some taking away of colors to produce highlights and things like that. I laid it down on a yellow card base. It's a five by seven card and it needed something, so I put some uh, textured brown cardstock behind it, not as a full frame, just as on the sides here and then I added a couple of uh, enamel dots. I left some space here to add a sentiment uh, but maybe I'll add that a little bit later. I'm not sure what kind of sentiment I want to use on there. What do you think? What kind of sentiment should I put on there? So that's my card. I hope you like it. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, definitely leave, leave a comment below because, as you know, I love hearing from you. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing um, to my channel. And uh, you'll see more videos like this one and lots of others. Thanks again for watching and stopping by my channel today. Take a look at the description below because lot, there's a few other people in this collaboration and you'll find their links below and take a look at their projects as well. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.